And Sneha, who brought us that report, is live with me. Sneha, you know the graded response action plan, uh, you know, which, uh, which uh, uh, the full form is GRAP, which sounds very much like what I'd rather call it. Uh, you know, I, 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 I really want to know from you, Sneha, whether this should be inspiring any confidence. You know, should it be of any reassurance to me, you and millions of us in the national capital that a graded response action plan has now been activated? What does it mean? What is it going to, you know, impact? You know, as far as the GRAP is concerned, the graded action plan, like you mentioned, Shiv, is actually just a series of measures that are taken on an emergency level, at an emergency level, to deal with the crisis at hand. But is this a problem that is, you know, that has been given by nature to us? Air pollution is a man-made problem. And the solution has to be man-made and it can't be a solution over a period of two months or so. So GRAP has measures like, you know, having odd even, for example. Yeah. Will that help? It's band-aid, but yes, it will help because it will keep vehicular pollution to a minimal in Delhi City if it is followed. But what about the vicinity? What about Noida? What about the pollutants from there? So essentially all this all the points mentioned in the graded action plan is very temporary to just just you know I would say uh, you know just uh, like if I can draw this analogy just to stop with the bleeding of a of a person who's met with an accident yeah but it does not help in the overall health of the person the overall uh, plan essentially should have been working on long-term solutions as far as diesel vehicles are concerned as far as uh, improving your public transport is concerned stubble burning work on the problem through out the year knowing that it's going to happen it's not like covid mm. it didn't hit us hit us you know out of the blue it is a perennial problem like i you and i know that next year around this time we'll be having a chat on this once again yeah. so we know that this problem is uh, is uh, uh, an annual occurrence and that's the reason why grab is important from the point of view of stopping the or controlling the immediate problem otherwise it's certainly not a long-term solution Okay, that most certainly doesn't inspire confidence, but that is the truth, and we will continue to report only the truth, unvarnished truth for our viewers here, because I think we've gone past that, you know, that, that mark of being able to, uh, you know, tell this story in any other way. This is a story where uh, our loved ones are suffering, the people we care about the most, we're seeing how their health is being impacted right before our eyes, and this is very personal. Uh, Sneha, thank you very much for getting me that. I wanted to give you a sense of how things used to look before this death cloud from all that crop burning and other things descended on the national capital region where I live. Just take a look at these before and after pictures to show you the effects of pollution, for instance, on Delhi's famous India Gate. Just take a look what it looks like on a normal beautiful day and Delhi is a beautiful city and what it looks like now. If I went to India Gate right now, that is what it actually looks like. Air quality in the area is so bad that a public health emergency has now been declared.